Good morning, modern steaders. This morning's video is going to be of cutting the pig carcass in half. We're skipping the cutting off the head and the gutting of the animal because the last video of putting the pig down, we didn't show anything. We couldn't monetize the video. And then we got flagged. So we got kind of got in a little bit of trouble from YouTube. Somebody reported it, I know, taking away all of our fun. This is educational, this is how you learn, this is how I learn. I'm a huge visual learner. So I put these videos out, not just for you, but for me. So when I need a guide to go back to, I can rewatch the videos and remember how to do it. So I'm trying to figure out how to get the video that should have been before this video out. Don't know how I'm going to do it. YouTube isn't going to work for that. We know that now. But this video coming up should be fun. It's a pig carcass. At this, from this point on, the pig is food. If you went to a butcher shop, this is what you'd be seeing hanging in a cooler in the cuts of meats that you'd be buying from a regular grocery store. So from here on out, we should be good. We have a new chicken plucker coming from Coops and More. Woohoo! That should be here on Friday. That means I get to harvest chickens on Saturday. The only downfall about that is Gina won't be here. She's out Christmas shopping. So I'll be doing the last 25 birds by myself. That's all right. We have been talking with Yardbird. My bad luck, it's gonna be somebody's good luck. So keep watching the videos. I'll be putting an update out about that pretty soon. <laughs> So we use a bone saw with uh, the blade is on the push only. So it takes a little getting used to, but once you once you know it, you can be a little bit more precise with it. Here's the pancreas. You can kind of see it under that membrane. So the spine, Andy Mitchell's spine is attached to the tail. Next to the tail, I already know I'm cutting next to the tail. Outside of what's inside of the tail, all of this is still food. So I like to take the thumb and find a, a vertebrae. So I'm not actually going to take all this out. And actually cut the there. in between. And then, and then pull uh, it. So this is the bum that I can like right in the disc. Okay. So now I can pull the tail over to the side, this and now I know if I cut right there, I should be right in the middle of the spine. Can we try and save? Even still, I'm the one that's cutting. I am going to ask someone to be on that side guiding me. If I'm not the one that's cutting and somebody else is, then I'll be on that side. But I don't mind doing the first pig. It is a lot of sawing. First thing, actually, uh, before we even get to this, um, we need to cut through the pelvis. And that can be done from either side. I do prefer it from this side just because I can lower my handle and be in the carcass and know that I'm not cutting any meat. Oh yeah, you see it now? That's all there is to that. Yeah. Uh, what I'm aiming to do here is just stay dead center. Now, if I get off center, you let me know immediately. So even if you think I'm trying to crack one way or the other, just let me know. And it would help me a lot if you don't mind holding. Yes. <laughs> that way I'm not just pushing it everywhere. Push that Bam. Off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it only cuts going forward. That's right. <laughs> so one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, I need to go this way. Yep, okay. So, so one thing that we do with our uh, towels, kind of handy, um, because the bone saw is really tough to just hold on to. Um, and so if, if Al wanted to, like if we need to track one direction or the other, we'll hold right here uh, and just later. bend the blade just a little bit and it'll put us right back on track with a stroke or two. When we start talking about this, we always talk about it. And then, uh, I need to keep in mind that he's walking me on that side. If I know I'm going to be pretty well close to the center, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to do this on accident. Right, so I just want to try to stay perpendicular. Just cover your bases. Yeah, I mean, uh, we use, sometimes we'll take a small bit of time to get half of air off again. Which side? What? To your, your 
A lot of short strokes, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can go big, you know, but it's just a lot of bone to come through, so. Yep. So what we did there was just stretch it out. Now, I'd like to be able to show you. Yeah, he's doing pretty. I was just kind of looking at the whole length of it. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah, so this is just a picky thing, right? It doesn't. Need, you can tell I'm not left or right, but I still just want to be dead center. Yeah, yeah I was just that's all. No, 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 no. You're doing great. You're doing great. Like I said, it never would hurt my feelings. It would hurt my feelings if you didn't say anything, and I ended up cutting right through your loin. Right? Oh no! no that's the worst case scenario. It's his fault. Yeah. All right. That was my spotter's fault. Uh -huh. So if I can see a full length one on each side, then I know I'm dead center. If I can just see a part of one on this side, that means I'm over this way, a sixteenth or whatever. So, so I can tell here that's full length. I need to go back over this way, just a hair. That was a stink. It was all fat there, so I... Yeah, on the inside. so far so good too because this is a big pig and not a ton of fat. I mean, uh, the right amount. This is right. Really it's not nice. overly fat. Correct. This right. is a really nice looking target now. That's what we aim for. That's exactly right. <laughs> Must be all the apples. That's always the scary part. When you're getting your, your pig butchered or you're doing it, it's like, oh, when you cut into it, what's going to be in there? Mm -hmm. They do it right or not. Right. You can still head towards you. The other way a little more. It's a brand new salt blade, too. Well, they'll hang it out in front of like a butcher yeah. shop. And that's the sign that they've got fresh organs. So if there's there you a, go. Thank you. If you like liver, and you go past one of their shops, and there's a splatter. Yep. Yeah. And this, this is actually the best way to preserve it. So you can let it air dry. And it will be fine. Alumni Acres Butchery. Let me hold that for you. Now, will you spray the halves down? Dice? Yep. yep. Don't need a gym membership, do you? <laughs> Not this season. <laughs> During butchering season, we stay pretty fit. Right. You need it before so you can be in uh -huh. shape when it comes. That's exactly right. <laughs> CrossFit. <sighs> but you know what? As a carpenter, my hands get real callous throughout the year, yeah. which I love. In butchering season, they're softer than my wife's. Because <laughs> it's just fat all oh, yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Just moisturizing uh -huh. them constantly. Where is the bacon? Where is the bacon?
You tell me. This is where your loin and your uh, pork chops are. Your bacon is the pig's the belly. Your belly. Pork okay. belly. Well, you can go down with it too a little bit to help it out. Uh, I think we're okay. Are you good? You don't have to worry, do you? No, no, I'm good. You ready? One, two, three. We need to get back up or whatever. Nope, nope. Oh, good, okay. okay. And then go in the back. Good. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed today's video. We hope you were able to learn something from it and take something from it. Leave it in the comments down below what you like, what you didn't like, what you learned, what you didn't learn, and what else you're looking for. This feedback is great for us. It helps us know what kind of videos to put out that you want to watch. So if you like today's video, make sure you share it. It really helps the channel grow and it helps promote this lifestyle that we all really love and enjoy. So share it on your Facebook groups. Put it out there on Twitter, on Instagram. I don't know, wherever you like to share stuff. Put it on a community bulletin board. It might be a little bit difficult, but I bet you you can figure out a way. I know you're just as resourceful as I can be. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Ape. It's a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Oh, we are working on the shirts. We've been working with Drew, another fellow modern steader. We've been trying to do a little tweak in here and there and getting the logo and the design just right. Fingers crossed we should be seeing something this week.